Man, everybody has been just chirping at me saying, yo, today's solo leveling is gonna be crazy. Solo leveling, peak, peak leveling, Chahe and Gat. But hey, I think there's a job class, right? It's like a job change class that I think should be pretty hyped up because so far, he's just been like this nameless class. Just like base adventure in like Maple Story. When are we gonna specialize something? Maybe it's today's episode. Let's begin. What's about to happen? Oh, the job class, the job change, that job change. So level 40 is when we get our first job. Okay.しかし時間的猶予を与えられている。Dude, imagine we said no to accepting the job change quest. Like, who the fuck would say no, right? Like, if you played any game, it's like, oh, finally, I can fucking specialize. But goddamn, well, let's go. So it's gonna be that much more difficult, huh? The hardest test ever? See, this is a very interesting line, right? What did he say? By earning skills best suited to my job. Best suited to my job. And like, everyone is intuitively gonna think, well, shit, he's fast, he's nimble. He's like an assassin. He uses knives, daggers. So it should be like rogue, assassin, thief, that kind of thing. But a lot of people are like, Nah, bro, you don't even know what's about to come. All right, hit me with the plot twist. Come on, let's go. Yes, let's go. Gate? You forgot to do your daily quest? No, 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 no. I've been saying this over and over and over again. Okay, so remember in the beginning when we did the daily quest, what happened, right? We got, we got ported to a fucking desert area, right? That's what happened when we skipped the daily quest. And then, what happened? We went to an instance dungeon, and it said, Oh, you have a teleportation rock? That's the way till you get out of dungeon. And I said at that point, go back to my reactions. I've been saying this over and over again. I said, hey, just like how he abuses his daily refresh energy and stuff like that, right? You don't have to fucking use full restore. Why not just, like, use this broken mechanic of being able to port to the fucking desert area as, like, an emergency exit button, right? The fact that he just specifically said, Oh, my daily quest? I guess I can just want to get back. Come on now. Come on. Are you serious? Come on now. This is hinting at something. Come on now. A new job. I'm going to know. Opening. <laughs> Fuck. I got hooked twice. It's the thing from the opening when the rap beat goes down. And he's fucking fighting this red thing. It's the thing! Hmm? The fuck? Oh, damn. It's Jinho's dad. Bougie has dinner. Yo, have you seen... Okay, off topic, but have you seen random TikToks of, like, wine connoisseurs? Where they basically pour the wine in the glass, and they do this shit. They, like, take the glass up, and they go like this. They, they listen to the fucking glass. They're like... I'm like, what the fuck are you listening to? What are you doing? Apparently, it's to hear the bubbles and somehow that's like supposed to like determine the good quality of the wine, but it's like... Head butler? Oh, older brother, elder brother. And we're back to the dungeon. Oh, okay, let's let play. Potions and full recovery, you can't abuse it. No potions? No full recovery. Not that we had it anyways, because we didn't do the daily. Knights? Orange. We should be able to beat it easily. Quick! CGI Knight, let's go! Damn, that was way too fast. No, he's still up! He's still up! Oh, ain't no way we're gonna get beat by a fucking fodder knight right away, right? Yo, use that fucking critical strike skill! Much stronger than you. Remember what we did? Remember what we did to Casca? We're like, oh, fuck the fucking weapon. We just fucking rip you apart. It's like bleeding out black goop. And like, we can't use skills that much either, right? The more you spam it in the early, that's really bad. Because no potions. Do we have like auto re- Oh, that's a lot more. Nah, they're fodder. We should be good. Okay, back to dinner. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. Because the steak is fucking raw, father. 
I couldn't post Chahein. Pyonggu is uh, the healer, right? And we know who Chahein is. Europe and Middle Eastern hunters as well, okay. Oh, Hang Dong-su. Hang Dong-su mentioned. Does he feel threatened by Jinho? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've been wailing. <laughs> bro, if you, if you feel threatened by little bro, don't get in my way. Bro, if you're so good, you wouldn't have to worry about Jinho. Don't let the secret out. Don't let the secret out. Don't let the secret out. Let the secret out. Just hold. Hold the L. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, invisible? Perception! Perception! The armor reminding me of, like I'm revisiting my past battles. Maybe it is. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? I don't know if you guys play, play Maple Story or some shit. Again, I keep giving you Maple Story fucking analogies, but like third job advancement, it's like you have to fight like yourself or some shit, right? It's like all your past memories and experiences, they like culminate and then they're shown through this instance dungeons one last time. Then you overcome it, then you get a new job, right? <laughs> so much variety. You need a little bit of both, huh? You need like you need to be well-rounded here. Wait! Did he just use the corpse as a shield? Look, look, he grabs it. <laughs> he did, he did. Yeah, this is looking bad. We're not even at that red knight thing yet. What the fuck? I wish I had glasses so I could do this. S class? All S class? That's some. Okay. Okay. Jeju and scouting? Weren't they, weren't they talking about something like that last episode? Right, right, right. They were talking about how we went to go do some shit at Jeju. Yeah. Okay, potions aren't allowed, but you can drink water. Cool. Cool. The beast dropped the water bottle? Uh, high rank knight's chest plate, physical damage in mind. Oh, cool. We could just wear that shit right now. Okay. Yeah, do we even have armor? Have we ever worn armor? Okay, smart, brilliant. Because like clunky armor, even they they offer stats. How many times in a game have you had to be forced to wear armor because it looks fucking stupid? But like the stats are good, right? So it's like you know, and then you use the cash item where it's like invisible armor where you can just like aesthetically look good. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Looks better this way. <laughs> Level went up? Level goes up. You know, then spider fucking enemy. Full proficiency, and then, you know, your stats all get recovered. So, technically, oh, yeah. I, I, don't forget about the choker, right? We did talk about this with the choker. When he got the fucking choker, it's like, yo, you really want to wear that? Then it went invisible, but okay, yeah. So, basically, he can level up and restore his health like this. Good. Fatigue recovers. No heal, just the fatigue. Does he not have like HP regen? Nah, if you've seen episode one, you know, a big gate like this probably means boss room. Here we go, here we go. Red Knight? Chills, bro. Chills, brother. CGI door. Oh, the best chandelier. Damn! Yo, is that a throne? This looks like a king's throne room, huh? Look at that. What is that, hair? It's the helmet hair thing, right? Your body remembers? The pressure on the level of what I felt during the double dungeon. God damn. God damn, it's the double dungeon level thread. The drip is immaculate. Like, the other knights, not so much. This guy, oh my god! Dude, if we beat this guy, Knight Commander, Igris, the Blood Red. <laughs> so if we beat him, we get her job? 
surely he's the only boss in here, right? There's no way there's like a, this is only like the first boss and it's like, you know, second boss shows up, right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Dude, it's so intimidating. Look at him. A knight who defends an empty throne. Who used to be the king? What's the lore? Who? Why? Why is Eagles defending an empty throne? Are we supposed to beat him and then ascend to the throne? And then it's like, what? Wait, wait, wait. He's, he's a knight, right? Like, what? But it's a monster. We kill him. Is he waiting to serve? What? 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 <sighs> the design is crazy, bro. Hi, hi. <laughs> Okay, okay, this guy is next level. Dude, I swear I saw one strike, that was like 10 different ones. Sword beams! Sword beams! Can we beat this thing, dude? Oh, he did the fucking knife switch thing again. I love it when he does this. Look, look, look. Right here. Yeah. Well, if the shell is hard, use your hands and, you know, do that. I'm a sucker for laser effects like this, yo. Oh, dude, I'm a sucker for, like, look at this. Ooh. I think we're getting fucked up, though. You use your hands. You just said outer shells. You can break it apart with your hands, right? I mean, every time we've had an opponent that we can't break the outer shell, we did just go fucking barehanded. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, please drop your sword. Yo, Ignis should be like, yeah? Yeah, you want to fight barehanded? I accept. Yes, drop it. Yes. That was a Denken moment. Denken cape off. Dude, look, look, look. He even did a little head tilt. Did you see it? Did you see it? Look, 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 look. Bro was like... Really? Yeah? You want to do this? Yeah? Take the cape off. <laughs> you barehanded. Let's go. Take the armor off too, pussy. And we're back. Okay. Maybe hot take, but I'm not a big fan of... Getting really hyped up, getting really hyped up, then boom, dinner with that. Getting really hyped up, getting really hyped up, then boom, other place. It's like, ah. you know, I wish I could just kind of go all the way through, but it is what it is. They're, they're, they're edging us, bro. They, they are truly edging us. We're not allowed to climax right away. Dude, he's so thick. Look at his chest. Bro, how bus- I mean, we know how muscular he is, but that suit doesn't even fit him. Operation Go Say Hi to Ant on Jeju? Okay. I think he's being humble here. I think he's being humble. Gigachad. Low key, I kind of want him to show up on Jeju Island. Like, what did you have to live through to get scars like this all over your fucking face and body? I want to see him fucking fight the ants, bro. Get in there. Yo, Guildmaster Chess drip is quite immaculate. Look at this cape. Look at this goddamn cape fluttering. Remember the trauma PTSD, you know, scene last episode? Like, the best part of last episode was Guildmaster Chess' nightmare. <laughs> And the, the animation budget for that scene was so fucking cracked. We were all just like getting hyped on him, you know, experiencing trauma. But here we go. We're back. Oh, God, he's so fast. This is why I say hi I every time. I always say hi I because like there's some signature anime lines that's always repeated in every anime. Oh, he's even now to running. Yo, fight back. Okay, okay. Damn, is that a broken arm almost? Thank God for the armor. He's just standing there, menacingly. Dash, level two. Ooh. 
Watch this part when he's in midair and he does this thing in midair. This is one of my favorite things too. Look, 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 look here. Wait for it. Wait for it. This, 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 this. this. Somehow when you're in midair and the, the character does this kind of stuff, somehow I feel immersed as if he's like falling down with such impact. This animation is actually going crazy. I am totally fine with them taking that one week episode break to save the budget for this. Ooh. Does that mean we're at, we're at, at like 30% HP right now? If the willpower kicked in? Ooh. Oh, it's so fast, the choreography's going crazy. Look how much detail. What the fuck? Bro did like a helicopter kick. Chill, chill! I didn't mean it! Chill! The combo's not over yet, dude! The combo's not over! <laughs> okay, the, the Sungjin Wu helicopter kick was insane. That sequence from Egrid was kind of insane. Look, look, look. Bro got so fucking pissed. Okay, this sequence is really sick from Sungjin Wu, right? And we thought we won. We thought, like, oh, did it get him? Did it get him? No, we made him mad. Bet, I'll try now. Oh, <laughs> what is that? What? Like, what is this shit? Like, like, we, we, look. Like, we're like literally stuck in midair in front of him. He does like a ten-piece combo. Pop, 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 pop. Oh my god. And then face on the wall. All right, you win. You win. We didn't use murderous intent yet, right? Is this intentional? Uh, is this symbolism? The fact that he's sitting on the throne, the empty throne that Igris is protecting? Are we going to be Igris's king? What is the throne? Like, he doesn't seem mad that we're on the throne, right? Is he? And immersion ruined. And immersion ruined. <sighs> Dear brother, dinner is in the fridge too. From your sweet little sister. Aww. What's she up to? Just studying. <laughs> Fucking nerd. How dare you prepare for a brighter future? Wait, is that the thirsty nurse that we ignored the fucking um <laughs> the phone call from? What was the point of that scene? Gina like makes sandwich. You think this is a death flag? <laughs> that he prepa she prepared a sandwich for us? And we're not gonna come home in time to eat the sandwich? Sung Jim is dead? Alright, Sung Jim is gonna die today, guys! And then there's the hospital scene. Maybe this is like gonna be um, used as emotional battery. Sung Jim will remember who he's fighting for, right? Maybe because they're showing Jinna and Mom now, it's like he'll remember that, and then he'll get like a boost in power and fight Igris back, right? Why? It's gotta be, gotta be some kind of emotional reaction, right? Not gonna lie. The way that he's even like, like he looks unconscious, but the way that he's just like holding, barely holding on to one side of the throne, it looks pretty sick, bro. It looks kind of cool. You can do that too? Chill. He's got a family. Chill. Chill. He's got a family. Courage of the week, round two. Oh! What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? What? <sighs> For the sake of my sister and mom. Bro, where the fuck is this part? Where, where the fuck is this plot army kicking in? <laughs> nice armor you got there. Let's go! Oh, wait, 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 you see that? Oh. That is a very impactful scene, dude. Look at the different, I don't even know what, what to call this, right? Everything is looking going on. Put it back in and then summon him. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. He just abused the mechanics here. Put it back in. Summon him back in. Fatal strike, fatal strike, fatal strike. Oh! Yo, the animation though. His eyes change. Look at all these fatal strikes. Look at all these different fatal strikes, the critical damage hits. This sequence of events. Surely that's enough, right? 
You don't have a phase two, right, Igris? Please stay down. You don't have a phase two, right? Do we win? Do, do we win? Quest cleared? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't jinx it. I don't know. I, I... Okay. Hey, we defeated it. Okay, 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 okay. So, my winning was pretty much a fluke? Why? Technically, if he's better at us at every stat, the only reason we won here is because we were like... Psych! Bitch! Fuck you in the eye! And then push them and then we fucking rush them, right? So like, we, we, we technically <laughs> got a cheap shot by acting like we were just like... Dying on the chair. <laughs> like, yeet! <laughs> right? So, I mean, hey, it's all fair in battle. He should have been cautious, man. Four different rewards. Just hella gold, okay. Cool, gold bag. Crimson Knight Helmet, just like fat, you know, just damage reduction, vitality, strength, and it's S rank difficulty acquisition. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, look at that. See, now this is a helmet where I might turn the visibility toggle on because the helmet looks sick. Cool. Cool. Stats are always cool. Rune stone, ruler's hand. You may obtain the skill by crushing the stone. Again, this is a skill thing. Rulers. Did Igris use ruler's hand before? What? Because, like, the reason we got stealth rune skill, rune stone from Kang Teshik is because he used stealth. Did Igris use ruler's hand? It's the telekinesis, the sword movement? Oh, okay, that makes sense. The where he was like, Psh. You know what's funny? Is the fact that, like, Igris needs, like, this special skill, like, the ruler's hand, almost like the force to be, like, bzzz, and, like, the sword comes back. But Sung Jin Mu there was like, nah, I got a fucking video game equipment. <laughs> I'll just store the equipment back in the fucking slot, and then I'll just summon it back from my inventory. <laughs> you know? It's kind of funny like that. <laughs> oh, teleportation wrong. Maybe we use this to get out of here. Why give me a teleportation stone now? So that you can exit the dungeon? Or is it implying that it's not over yet. Wait, maybe it's not over yet. Wait, is, is it not over yet? Wait, 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 Survive as long as possible to earn advancement points. They are required to be assigned a higher class. Shit, I mean, so it's like the longer you survive here, the better class we're gonna get. Of course we're gonna fucking stay here! You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? So how long, how long does this go for, huh? Wait, 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 wait. So like, there's a timer. And what have, been, what have I been saying? What have I been saying the entire time? What would be very useful to stall this clock out as long as possible to get the most amount of points to get the best job possible? Gee, I wonder if we didn't do the daily quest today. So if we survive, we get ported out and we fuck around in the desert Port back in, we wait like a fucking month. What do we become God? What do we become God? So he just has to survive until like, so we don't use the teleportation rock, no, no. Just survive until daily quest, but like, when does daily quest is done? When is it done? How much time do we have? Immersion ruined, again. <sighs> These designs are pretty cool though, huh? These are all S rank heroes. I don't know. I, I see like a nun here. <laughs> like, what is the purpose of this armor? Like, what is this design? Like, what reason do you have to wear like this kind of clothing? I don't know. Is this a cat girl made too? <laughs> like, holy defense ain't nothing is protecting this, bro. Yeah. The, oh, we can just hide too. Oh, imagine if we could just permanently hide here. But with the mana, we have mana. Mana return. Mages? Oh, he said, fuck your stealth. Murderous intent. 
Why did- Wait, wait, wait. Did we use murderous intent on Igris, actually? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we did, right? Maybe when his eyes changed here, there was a moment when his eyes flashed blue. Did we never use murderous intent? Why the fuck did we not use murderous intent ever, bro? It's too strong to affect him. Wouldn't have worked. I guess at a certain point, it's like you need to have some kind of threshold, right? If you could just abuse it to everybody. Like if it's an opponent that's stronger than you, then it shouldn't be allowed to work, right? So maybe that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. Just when is 12 a.m.? Is it almost daily reset? It, when's the daily reset? Five minutes? <laughs> Five minutes? <laughs> no, 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 don't put me out! Hold it, hold! Oh! Oh, wait, the rock's gone. We don't have. We can't. Is this the second fucking time that he dropped his teleportation rock? Like, I swear, against the battle against Cerberus, this same shit happened. It's like, oh, I got the rock. <laughs> Whoopsie, I got lost the rock. Oh, gee, I gotta stay here now. <laughs> Bro keeps dropping the fucking soap at the most important time, but hey, it might be important. Daily reset, daily reset, daily reset. Damn! Yeah, next episode. That's, that's it from you guys. Fuck, fuck me, dude. Fuck me, dude. Hey, at, at least today's episode was fucking hype, right? I think one of the most uh, coolest things... Is Igris, man. Igris is fucking crazy. Igris, this night, I don't think I've ever seen a monster. Well, it's a double dungeon. It's a double dungeon threat, right? It's a double dungeon threat. So a guy like him with this kind of fucking immaculate drip defending a throne that is empty. But unfortunately, we beat him. I thought that we're supposed to like, I don't know, like lore wise, we like become his fucking king or something because it's like an empty throne he's protecting, but he's like dead. So it's like, Okay, I don't know. Aside from that, the battle animation? Yo, the battle animation went fucking hard. I think this, this side, when everything just like turned into like, what do you even call this? Like, just lines? There's like a sketch? Like, are, it, it does, doesn't, isn't this like the anim, well, I can't call it being lazy, but like, this scene right here is basically just frames, right? It's called impact frames. Like, isn't this like easier to animate? Like, it's, it's, it's hand drawn, right? Like compared to like a fully fleshed like scene like here, but for some reason, just like moments like this, right? These like so-called hand-drawn impact frames. Nah, they have some level of like impact for me, sure. There's another moment when Sung Jin Moo like um, stabbed Igris' eye. And there in the whole scene, it looked like everything was like, you know, um, what's, what's the word? Like raining upwards, right? Like this scene right here, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. One more time. Yeah. This moment, this moment was so cool. This is sick too. And perhaps one of my favorite fighting moments today was when Sung Jin Woo made uh, Igris mad and bro just did like a 10 piece fucking combo, bro. No, I honestly, there's so many different moments. And him even like dropping his sword and be like, oh yeah? Yeah, you wanna fucking settle it, like, man? So good. And next episode is the season finale, right? We're gonna be suited up and ready. And I am firm on my belief, especially more so because of Sung Jin Woo intentionally saying, Daily quest? Oh yeah, I forgot about it. The show is literally telling you that, hey, daily quest, penalty, infinite timer. I don't know. I think the math works out. I think that we're gonna last until the daily reset, get ported to the fucking, you know, centipede place. Then we're gonna wait out as long as possible, come back, get all the fucking points, and then get some kind of cracked class. What's that class gonna be? Only one way to find out, but hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.